more for questions for Connor and Bryce. Bryce, earlier this season, you know, the talk was about the shooting and just trying to get things going the last two games. So I don't know if you guys could be have played much better on that end of the floor. What's what's been the difference in your mind? Um, we just trusted our work. Um, we work hard to get guys open shots, find easier shots, find easier um, shots throughout the possession, and that's what we've been doing these past few games, and it's been pretty successful for us. With balls been moving, how much more comfortable are guys? playing with each other, and how much has that progressed since the beginning of the season? Um, I feel like guys are just, I feel like guys are just, you know, developing more chemistry. Um, it happens, it happens. I mean, a lot of us are new, we're like nine new guys um, who are who are inserted into the lineup and into the rotation. So, um, I mean, it just comes with getting comfortable with each other, learn, learning our strengths, learning our weaknesses, and uh, setting each other up for the success. Connor, how confident are you right now, just with your shot and your, your, your assertiveness? The last two games have been lighting it up. Pretty confident. Um, but, you know, it just it just kind of comes to just having fun and just playing and, you know, having guys on the team, coaches on the staff that, you know, you just trust and just enjoy being around and, you know, playing with. Uh, like Bryce said, you know, we're, we're doing a good job just getting guys open, um, whether it's me or everybody else on the team. Uh, and that just comes with trust that we've built. Um, you know, as we go throughout this season, and that'll just continue to get better and better, and everybody will get open shots. You know, you were too shy of the single game record, Nebraska single game record for made threes. I did not. I did not know that. Is that a goal for you? Uh, I mean, if it happens, it happens. You know, I'm not not really too worried about it. Um, you know, as long as we keep winning and keep this hot streak going. You always had that mid range game when they close out, and how comfortable are you in that area? How has that developed? Um, kind of started freshman year um, when that really started to develop a little bit uh, when they started to, to get scouting reports out and started trying to get me off the line and um, just kind of trying to develop a full game um, as, as scouting reports keep coming out and to try and get me off the line just to be able to, to open things up for me and for other guys. Um, if I'm able to get inside the lane too and be able to dish um, and help other guys get shots, you know, just helps the whole team. Bryce, could you tell guys who are focused? I mean, this team had Taking down South Carolina and Georgia Tech coming in, was there a definite like you got to got to be ready for this one? Um, definitely can't overlook any opponent, and this one that, it, that was stressed with disappointment because of the resume they have already. So um, we were locked in, um, we were motivated, um, and we kind of just want to you know we got to protect home court. That's the biggest thing, and also you know non conference is a big thing, and you know also for Ken Pong. So you know we were all focused coming into this game. Defensively, obviously the talk was their three point shooting led the nation and made threes. They made 14, but we're 32 percent from behind the arc. I guess how much pride do you take in just being able to contain that element of it, just considering what they've done to other teams? And that was stressed throughout the week, and we get chewed out daily, you know, for giving up open shots. We really, really for having any any breakdown defensively. Um, but for this game, knowing that they led the nation in three point attempts and our second in makes, um, that was that was the goal, just to run them off, you know, run them off and force them into tough twos. And we, um, you know, what I mean, they made 14, but I mean. The more you shoot, the more possibility you have of making them. So <laughs> it kind of, kind of comes with it. How much of a focus was it again? That 17 to one run early. How much of a focus was it to uh, get off to a good start? You know, given that this is a team that can hang with high major opponents. Um, the focus is always to get out to a high start. Um, the team that hits first usually is the team that you know can make a change. And you don't want to, you don't want to leave teams like this, dangerous teams like this. Um, to hang around for the whole game because then if it gets late, they, it's just going to be too much pressure and they have too much momentum and then the rest get on their side and then they get a lot of momentum. So, you know, the goal is always to start out fast. Connor, you've got that two-game Big Ten stretch coming up now that you're obviously familiar with. How, how big were these last couple weeks for this team to kind of figure this stuff out you have going into that? You know, part of figure, or figuring it out early um, is a big part, but obviously we're not anywhere near where we want to be uh, later. So we're going to go back, look at this film, but – you know, being able to have the lid, you know, kind of taken off this basket going into some big games, big games um, in the Big Ten. Obviously, these are going to be two of the better teams in the Big Ten, um, and we got them, you know, right off the bat. So to be able to have, you know, such big games right away is really going to test us. Uh, so we got to make sure we get locked in and um, go back and make sure we, we get better and, and lock in on this. Bryce, how do you and Javon like being the two tallest guys on the floor and you guys go to that small lineup? Um, we've actually never ran that lineup, well, not this year yet, but um, it actually pre felt pretty good. Um, it was, like, very free-flowing. Um, it really I – mean, we were calling a set, but after the set, it was like, you know, we just were just playing. And, you know, the way uh, me, Juan, and everybody else out there was playing off of each other, 
it was, it was kind of like easy. It wasn't even a thought to it, but um, no, it was fun. It was different being the tallest guy out there, but it was fun. Rice, you had six assists tonight and one turnover, and your two guards both had three assists and no turnovers. Can not speak about how well you guys are taking care of the ball? I mean, shit, I'm the only one who turned the ball over as a guard, but, um, you know, we were just – our focus has always been to make two-foot plays, make simple plays, um, and take care of the ball. Um, I know some games it gets away from us early, and that really allows teams to hang around. But this game, you know, we were, we were stressing about taking care of the ball, making good, simple plays, and um, that's what we did tonight. And, you know, it was, it was pretty easy. It wasn't anything difficult. Connor, your brother's a student manager. Right? Yeah, what, yes, yeah. How did that come about, and what's it like just – I mean, yeah, I think he's a freshman, but what was he like – what is it like just both of you guys coming here at the same time and being with each other while you – yeah, so he, he was originally committed to play at Trine University, um, a, good, a pretty really good D3 uh, back home, and he actually tore his ACL um, in, in high school again. Um, it was a couple multiple times, so, you know, it was just kind of God's plan. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm thankful for him to be here, um, even though it's not necessarily probably the path that, that he wants to be on, and, you know, I, he wants to be playing basketball. He's a college basketball player, um, level kid, so... You know, it's, it's, it's just really cool. I'm really blessed to be able to, we actually live together. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty unbelievable that like, God put us together, um, you know, in this situation. And it's just amazing to have family, you know, going home and, and seeing him at practice every day to be able to just spend time with someone you care about so much. Um, and he's a basketball mind. He's a basketball junkie. So he really loves breaking down, you know, stuff and, you know, kind of giving me tips. And he'll probably coach one day. So it's, it's good to, to be able to have that in my back pocket. Anything else for players? Thank you guys. Yeah. Well, Coach Harbor, don't care like these days.